Hi, my name is Shaq and I'm the pre-sales analyst here at Forest Grove. Forest Grove provides end-to-end -end data consulting strategy and process improvement solutions for organizations throughout Australia and New Zealand, transforming their approach to financial planning, budgeting, data analytics, and reporting. To give you a little background about me, I'm a qualified CPA and have worked in commerce as a management accountant, and before that, as a tax accountant in public practice. Today, I'd like to talk to you about scenario modeling and why it is an essential part of business strategy today and how we can help with resource planning and enhance your budgeting process and outcomes. So why scenario modeling? Scenario modeling provides insight into changing market conditions, the ability to evaluate different scenarios and allows your business to make informed decisions based on the changes to specific criteria. And this allows the finance team to become strategic partners from within the business. However, one of the key roadblocks to effective scenario modeling is that businesses do not have an effective tool that can build simple and accurate scenario models. Business complexity often makes scenario modeling difficult for many organizations. I'll now be showing you how to do scenario modeling using the Profix budgeting tool. Now effectively what we'll do is we'll open up Model Manager in Profix and have a look at the financial model where we've got the different dimensions within it. And the one that we're interested in the most is the version dimension. And I've created two scenarios here for the purpose of this example. And the first one here says S1, whereby the revenue will increase by 5%. And the second scenario is S2, where any account that's labeled as an expense account will increase by 5%. Now, if we have a look at the calculation definition, I'll bring that up. We've got a formula in there. Basically, it says that if this account is a revenue account, increase the budgeted number by 5%. If it isn't a revenue account, we're happy to leave the budgeted number as it is. And in the second scenario, I've done the same thing, only with expenses. I've gone, if it's an expense account, increase the budget by 5%. If it isn't an expense account, leave the budgeted number as it is. We'll now go back to our dashboard and click on the generic scenario analysis. Now we've already listed S1 and S2 as the scenario examples that we want to compare our budgeted figures against. And here we can see in scenario one, we're looking at a very simple PNL. We've got our name of the accounts on the left hand side. We've got our budgeted numbers and we've got the result of the S1 scenario analysis. And that is, of course, our revenue numbers or revenue accounts being increased by 5%. You can see the variance here on this column and the difference that it makes to our bottom line. In scenario two, it's the exact, exact same thing, except the expenses are now increased by 5%. You can see our budgeted numbers here. The analysis that shows the expenses increasing by 5% and the variance amounts here in the last column. And the impact that it makes to our bottom line you can easily see at a very high level how quickly we were able to do a scenario analysis comparing our budgeted numbers to our scenario numbers. Bearing in mind that this could also be actual versus forecasted numbers. So Profix makes it a lot quicker and simpler to conduct scenario modeling. If you want to learn more, contact us on the details on the slide here for a more detailed webinar on scenario analysis.